Carolina on the ride. What's going on, Panther Nation? Bill Mack here with another edition of the Panther Prowl. And thank God the whistle finally sounded. Panther Nation, our Panthers could legitimately not play any worse. Or at least our offense couldn't play any worse. Or we lost to Chicago Bears 17-3. to Yes, three. You heard it. Three. Three points. That's all our offense could muster up against the Chicago Bears. Now, I was in a chat room with a lot of Panther fans. Shout out to Pat Coltrane. As, uh, he puts on, he had a good live stream going throughout the game, so we were all able to get in there, and I was able to contribute a little bit. And as just to say, Panther fans, we were all disgusted. Not only of the offense was sputtering, but of the one offensive coordinator, Mike Shula. Let's just... I just don't want to get into it at the moment. I'll just go through the stats. Let's get the rundown of what happened in today's game. And we begin off, of course, the Panthers with the loss. Drop us to 4-3 and three in the division. We're not currently third, but Tampa Bay and uh, New Orleans are still in a dogfight in their games. Uh, we, we're now 3-1 and one away. Chicago Bears, of course, went to 3-4, and 2-2 two and two at home. Cam Newton had 21 of 34 for 211 yards, two picks. Trubisky, four of seven. Four. Four completions for seven uh, out of seven attempts for 107 yards. They won 17 to three on one of and with 107 yards passing. You think, geez, Bill Mack, how did they do that? Well, that's that's what defenses will do for you. When you make plays, the defenses can capitalize. A defense will capitalize on mistakes if they can be made. That's what happened. Cam Newton, of course, top rusher for the Panthers, nine carries on 50 yards. Uh, Howard for Chicago had 21 carries. 65 yards. Benjamin three carry three catches for 65, and Cohen had one catch for 70 yards. That was basically the most of their receiving was the him. Now the Panthers did get 293 total yards compared to Chicago's 153. Now come on, Panther Nation, that, that's almost double of what they got, and we could not do anything with it. Um, as far as our passing, we had 185. They only had 85, so we beat them in passing. Rushing, we had 108. They had 68, so we beat them by 40 in rushing yards. Um, we had three turnovers. There's our problem, Panther Nation. We had three turnovers, two, uh, two interceptions. One of them was a pick six by Cam. Other was a fumble uh, that was recovered and scored. By by uh, by Chicago, and of course came through another interception that basically could have been caught. Just played well, but he tried to fit it in somewhere it couldn't fit, and it just spouted up. And basically, when it's in air, it's anybody's game. Um, the Panthers had 20 first downs compared to Chicago having just five. Every one of their stats, I'm literally able to count on my fingers on one hand on what they're able to do. Of course, like I said, Carolina had the first, uh, one fumble uh, loss. They had two interceptions. Chicago, of course, they scored off of two of the three defensive debacle, or three of the turnovers that the Panthers, our Panthers, had inflicted in themselves. Our Panthers' offense was our own worst enemy. Our defense is the only thing that can have kept us remotely in the game. As Trubisky didn't have to do much. Our defense had four sacks compared to Chicago's five. So that means Trubisky completed four passes. Chicago's defense got five sacks. So they got more sacks than Trubisky did in passing completions. And our Panthers gave, uh, did, or, but our Panthers did get uh, four sacks as well. Shaq Thompson, of course, led the way six tackles, four solos. One tackle for a loss. Uh, John, Christian Jones 
of Chicago had 11 tackles, nine of which were solo, and he had one tackle for loss. Eddie, jo Eddie Jackson, which is the big MVP and star for the Chicago Bears and star of the Chicago defense today, was the main difference, was the X factor, as he had two defensive touchdowns. One, as I said, was a fumble recovery that was carried in, and also one that was a pick six by Cam, both carrying over 70 yards each. So he, at one point, he had just as much in those two that Panthers had in total yardage. Now, here are my notes for today. Um, Cam, folks, can't keep getting hit like he is. Another five sacks today. The man's on, I mean, he's been hit more than twice as much than anybody coming into the league at the same time he had it. I think second place is like twice as less than Cam. Um, he can't keep taking those hits. I mean, he, he looked hurt. He looked like he was playing hurt. He looked like he had hurt his wrist in the third quarter, and he was still trying to play through. You could see a pass that sailed um, over, well, off the top tips of Christian McCaffrey's fingertips. You could tell his wrist wasn't quite right. It, the the O-line kept collapsing. And that was another thing. Uh, another note for today's game, negative to it, was the shoddy O-line performance. Khalil went out after the first quarter. He re-aggravated his injury. He went back out, so we lose one. Trey Turner and then Khalil, of course, and you have to excuse that. Khalil, uh, Matt, uh, Matt Khalil went out, so you have both Khalil brothers out. You also have um, and you also have um, Turner out, which Turner caused that one of those interceptions last week. Um, you know, the thing, and a lot of people are saying in their chat was that there was the running backs. I'm like, look, no matter you could have a tank as a running back, but if you don't have an offensive line that can create holes that can hold withstand the defense, you're not going to get anywhere. That's how come Cam got sacked five times. That's how come. That uh, that they could not run the ball again. Cam was the only one doing it. That's because they didn't have a spy on him. He was unaccounted for. He scampered when he had to, but the uh, the running backs couldn't do as much as they should have done. And I told you last week a lot of the stuff and keys as to what Panthers need to do to win, they didn't do. So then they got the loss for you. Um, also, another one is that the Panthers controlled the clock. Remember, I said that controlling the clock was important. Well, yes, it is, but if you put points on the board to compensate for all that time, if you go up there and go, and like I said, time of possession, Panthers had 38 minutes and 35 seconds compared to 21 minutes, 25 seconds that Chicago had. So they had almost twice as much, two-thirds of the time of possession, still couldn't do nothing with it. I mean, they, they only put three points on the board, a field goal by Gano. And once again, like I said at the beginning, a, a negative side of it is the shot, continued shoddy play calling of offensive quarter coordinator Mike Shula. A lot of us in, in Pat's chat were say, telling him, you need to let Shula go. He's done road right enough with Cam's back to get that. And, and you need to go ahead and basically, I miss Chud being there. I really do miss Chud being there. Chud knew what to do. But, I mean, enough's enough with Chula. He rode on the back of Cam for this long, and they need to go ahead and let him go. We need, I mean, we've got the weapons. It ain't drafting. I'm talking about drafting, but, I mean, we got the pieces. we got the running backs. Sure, our O-line, our defensive line probably is, is older, but we're, when we can draft the defense that, but it's our O-line. Our O-line is not healthy and it's not strong enough to, to withstand it. It never has been. And the, and the picks that we have spent, aren't really panning out as much uh, for our offensive line. So that's going to continue being a problem for us, and that's just something we're not going to have. And like I said, they need to do something with Shula. And I know Cam's going to get this loss. Cam's going to take responsibility. If Cam was only doing what, what he was told to do, and we were sitting there predicting what they were going to do because Shula is very predictable. Shula should get this loss, a set of responsibility for his shoddy play calling, and they just need to let him go and get someone else in there that can work with camp and know what to do. And there only is one bright spot to this uh, to the review, and that was of course our defense. Now, like I said, you take away the two touchdowns defensively and defensively, it was a three-three game. 
and our defense kept us in the game. They were put in out in in rough situations, but they held their own. They only gave up the three points that they could be able to give up, uh, allowed to give up. They gave up three points. So our defense is what carries us through. Our offense, we've got the weapons. Our offensively, we've got to do something, and we've got to tighten up. Panther Nation. Next week we go up against we go into Tampa Bay and face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home in a divisional game. These are where the games are start getting really, really important is our divisional games. Because remember we've already lost to the Saints uh, in in the division. So we've got to come up and we've got to be able to stop Tampa Bay and get some of these divisional wins that we got to have or else we're gonna fall over to four and four. We were four, uh, four and two. We've lost two straight, so we've got to pick it up here, and we've got to get it going. So, once again, Panther Nation, we took another one on the chin. Philadelphia got us last week. We lost to Chicago this week, so we just have to keep our heads high. We got to help. We got to continue to keep pounding Panther Nation and moving forward with it because we can do it. We're on the rise, and we're going to get it. So. Until next time, this is Bill Mack with the Panther Prowl saying, keep pounding, Panther Nation.